Okay, so today we will see this problem. You can see here uh, a continuous beam that is a beam having more than uh, two supports is called as a continuous beam. You can see the supports at A, B, C, D, four supports we are having. Okay, it is subjected to a uh, load, uh, point loads as well as the UDL. Okay, so this is the final diagram. Okay, this is the diagram you have to obtain. You have to solve and obtain this uh, bending moment diagram due to vertical loads, that is a mu diagram. And this is the bending moment diagram due to support moments, mu dash diagram. And these two bending moment diagrams are superimposed or clubbed together as a single resultant bending moment diagram. And this is the shear force diagram. Okay, all these things we are going to do step by step with the help of Clapeyron's theorem of three moment equation. Okay, now let us take this beam. Okay, we take this beam and individual beams, okay, or sorry, individual spans must be considered as a simply individual simply supported beams to calculate the bending moments for each span. So likewise, A, B, okay, for A, B, calculate the bending moment at E. B and A, bending moment at E is equal to W, A, B by L is equal to 12 kilonewton meter. So at E, 12 kilonewton meter is the bending moment. Natural of the bending moment diagram is a straight line. There's a triangle in nature. And B, C again, bending moment of, at F, W, A, B by L. So 8 into 2 into 3 by 5. 8 into 2 into 3 divided by L is 5. So 9.6 kilonewton meter. So this is the bending moment for span BC. Again, straight line, triangle in nature, the bending moment diagram for point loads. Then bending moment at the mid span of uh, CD is nothing but WL square by 8. 3 into 4 square divided by 8. So 6 kilonewton meter. Natural of the bending moment diagram for UDL is a parabola. Okay, now we have completed drawing the mu diagram or we have completed drawing the bending moment diagram due to vertical loads okay on each span by considering it as a individual span as a simply supported beam okay so now uh, we will try to write down or bring the uh, clapeyron's theorem of three moment equation we are having a b b c c d three spans how we have to split the spans for writing the clapeyron's theorem or theorem of three moment equation means a b b c for one equation, then B, C, C, D for another equation. So if you take A, B, B, C means, okay, A, B, B, C means M, A into L1 plus 2 M, B into L1 plus L2 plus M, C into L2 is equal to 6 A1 X1 bar plus 6 A2 X2 bar divided by L2. So this is the Clapeyron's equation for span A, B, B, C. And A is a simply supported end. So support moment at A is zero since simply supported end. Okay. Now we have to find MB and MC are the two unknowns in this equation. MB, MC, L1, L2 are substituted here. Okay. L1, L2 substituted here. Now it's our duty to find A1, X1 bar and A2, X2 bar. A1 is the area of the bending moment diagram on span AB. X1 bar is the CG distance of that area of bending moment diagram from A. So you can see here A1, X1 bar, A1 area of the bending moment diagram, area of this. Here you can split this into triangle, two triangles off into two into 12 is the area into two by three of uh, two, two by three of two is the area of this area into CG distance. And for this area is off into four into 12 is the area and CG distances, CG is here for this triangle. So two plus one by three of four, one by three of four, you can see here. Simplify it, you'll get the answer A1, X1 bar. A2, X2 bar is nothing but A2 is the area of the bending moment diagram on span BC. X2 bar is a CG distance of that particular uh, area of the bending moment diagram from C, okay? So A2 area off into three into 9.6 into CG is here. So two by three of three, two by three of three plus Area of this off into 2 into 9.6 into CG is here. So 3 plus 1 by 3 of 2, that is a CG distance. So after simplification, we are getting this value. Okay, A1, X1 bar and A2, X2 bar. Substitute this in this expression, you will get one equation. So finally, we are getting 22 MB plus 5 MC is equal to 172.8. So let it be one equation, for example. Okay, let it be one equation, one or equation A or whatever it is for our simplification. Then for span this uh, BCCD, BCCD, okay? Write down the uh, equation, Clapeyron's MB into L2 plus 2MC into L2 plus L3 
plus M D into L three is equal to six A two X two bar by L two plus six A three X three bar divided by L three. M D is zero as it is simply supported end bending moment or support moment at D is zero. So substitute L one, L two, and L three here. Uh, get the reduce the equation, the Clapeyron equation. This is the form you are getting here. And A two X two bar, A three X three bar. We have to calculate again. A two X two bar. A two is the area of the bending moment diagram on span B C, and X two bar is the C G distance of that uh, bending moment uh, diagram area from B. From B, very important. Okay. So B C means from B C C D. B is the reference point for X two bar. Okay. So off into 2 into 9.6 into 2 by 3 of 2 plus off into 3 into 9.6 into 2 plus 1 by 3 of 3. This is the distance. Okay, from here to here. Okay, find out a to x to bar. A3 x3 bar. It's a parabola. Parabola area is 2 by 3 into length into this height. 2 by 3 into 4 into 6. CG is x3 bar should be calculated from D. Okay, so this total length divided by 2, 4 by 2 is the Uh, x3 bar distance okay so find out a3 x3 bar then substitute a2 x2 bar and a3 x3 bar uh, in this equation you will get this uh, final equation like 5 mb plus 18 mc is equal to 115.2 so this equation let it be 2 for example and here you have one equation okay and solve these two equations by solving that you get mb is equal to 6.84 kN meter And MC is 4.48 kilonewton meter. Now we have got the support moments at D and C. MA is zero. MB is 6.84 kilonewton meter. MC is 4.48 kilonewton meter. MD is zero. So now already we have plotted this mu diagram. Now we have to plot the mu dash diagram. You see mu dash. MA is zero. MD is zero. MB is 6.84 and MB is 6.84. MC is 4.48. Okay. So we have plotted separately. Then you can combine these two to get the resultant bending moment diagram. Okay, resultant bending moment diagram. So M A is zero, M B is six point eight four, M C is four point four eight, M D is zero. Okay, so we are showing both mu dash and mu diagram on a single diagram, which is called as a resultant bending moment diagram. So once these M B M C values are obtained, now it is required to calculate the Uh, support reactions, unknown support reactions, R E, R B, R C, R D. With the help of that, we are going to plot the shear force diagram. Okay, so I have mentioned with the help of a arrow mark uh, the direction of this uh, support moments. M B is acting clockwise for A B, and B C is acting anticlockwise, and M C is clockwise for B C, and again M C is Anti clockwise for C D. Okay, so now we are trying to write down the equations. For example, A B. Okay, A B. Okay, A B span A B. I am taking moment with respect to B. So I have to consider all the forces, moments, or couples, whatever it is, to the left side of support B. Okay, so now R A into six minus nine into four, and this gives clockwise plus M B. Substitute, get the value of R A. Okay, then. A B B C A B B C for these two spans C is my reference point for taking bending moment. Now left side of support C, I have to consider all the moments and forces for writing the bending moment equation. Sigma M C is equal to zero. R A into eleven minus nine into nine minus eight into three. R B into five. Why minus means anticlockwise. And this two moments. This is plus. And this is minus. Both are equal and opposite. It will get cancelled each other. No need to write down. And this gives clockwise plus M C with respect to support C. Okay, M C. Substitute the value of M C here. Get the value after simplification. You get R B to be 9.412 kilonewton. Then sigma F Y is equal to zero. R A plus R B plus R C plus R D is equal to total load acting on the beam. Nine plus eight plus three into four. So from this you get R. C is equal to 9.848 kilonewton. Okay, so now what else we have to do? Span C D, span C D. With respect to C, take down the moment. Okay, uh, R D into four anticlockwise. Right side anticlockwise positive, and three into four into two gives clockwise. Okay, negative. And with respect to C, right side anticlockwise positive M C. 
find out rd from this okay rd then then only we have to come to this okay then only we have to come to this okay ra plus rb plus rc plus rd minus 9 acting downward minus 8 acting downward minus 3 into 4 acting downward now we have got all the support reactions ra rb rc and rd with the help of this we have to plot the shear force diagram now ra at a shear force is acting downward when i proceed from left hand side shear force sign convention upward is positive downward is negative when i proceed from right hand side the opposite case upward is negative downward is positive okay ra is 4.86 so from a to a, a to e no load shear force remains constant so it should be shown by horizontal line at e once you reach the point e 9 is acting downward so 4.86 minus 9 you will get minus 4.14 Okay, the point load should be shown by the vertical line for the shear force diagram. Then from E to B, there is no load acting, so shear force remains constant. Once I reach the support B, uh, at B we are having R B plus 9.412. Already we are having minus 4.14. Add it, you will get 5.27 at B. So from B to F, no load, so 5.27 remains constant. And once I reach uh, F, I'm getting 8 is acting downward, so 5.27 minus 8. You will get minus 2.73, and from F to C, no load, so minus 2.73 remains constant. Once I reach the point C, R C is acting upward. Minus 2.73 plus 9.848, you will get 7.12 plus. Then how to get the shear force at D? 7.12 minus 3 into 4 will be minus 4.88. which is nothing but the support reaction at d r d is equal to 4.88 close it now the shear force diagram is completed for this now let us uh, pass on to the next problem okay so here the one it is fixed okay you can see two supports at b and c it is completely udl okay from a to c 6 kN per meter so for this we are going to uh, draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams okay so whenever you get a fixed support fixed support means what you have to do as per this clapeyron's theorem of three moment equation means at the fixed end wherever you get fixed support so at that fixed support you have to introduce an imaginary span of length l not okay length l not zero span l not is nothing but zero span okay you have to introduce a imaginary span whenever you get a fixed end means you have to introduce a imaginary support imaginary support of imaginary length so the spans will be oa ab one equation ab bc another equation see oa ab two spans one equation ab bc another equations So span O A B M not L not plus two M B into L not plus L one plus M B into L one is equal to six A not X not bar by L not plus six A one X one bar by L one. This is for O A A B. M not is zero as it is imaginary support, and L not also zero. And this six A not X not bar by L not whole term will get vanished as it is imaginary part. This will be zero. Then A B B C M A L one plus two M B L one plus L two plus M C into L two is equal to six A one X one bar by L one plus six A two X two bar by L two. So we must know how to write down the equation. Very very important. The Clapeyron's equations. Then only we'll be able to solve the problem. And at C, at the simply supported end, the bending moment is zero. So M C is zero as it is simply supported end. now by considering the individual spans as um, individual spans as individual simply supported beams we have to plot the mu diagram mu diagram so bending moment at mid of span ab or bc ab or uh, bc okay length is same right 4 4 meter okay so it is 6 so wl square by 8 same bending moment you will have at mid of ab or bc okay 12 kN meter 12 kN meter 12 kN meter Okay, <clears throat> and this is the equation we have written, and this is zero, and this is also zero. This is also zero. Okay, then a one x one bar area of this bending moment diagram two by three into length into twelve x one bar is this distance that is four by two is two. Similarly, when I consider this a two x two bar also area of this and x two bar is this 
since it is having same length and same UDL, a1 x1 bar will be equal to a2 x2 bar, which is nothing but 64, which is nothing but 64. Then substitute here a1 x1 bar, l1 is 6, 6, 6 will get cancelled. So you get the equation 2ma l1 plus mb into l1, substitute the value of l1 is equal to 6 a1 x1 bar by l1. Okay, 4, l1 is 4, sorry, not 6, 4. Okay, so after simplification, you will get this equation, let it be 1. Then for this, MA into L1, we have got the equation, the previous equation. Okay, in this substitute A1 X1 bar, A2 X2 bar. Okay, get the equation. This equation, second equation, 4 MA plus 16 MB is equal to 192 equation 2. Solve this equation 1 and 2, get the values MA is equal to 6.86 kilonewton meter and 10.28 kilonewton meter. After getting this, plot the mu dash diagram. See, at A, 6.86. At B, 10.28. MC is 0. Complete the mu dash diagram. So that's nothing but bending moment diagram due to uh, support moment. And this is the bending moment diagram due to vertical loads. Now, as a whole, it is called as a resultant bending moment diagram. Once MA and MB values are obtained, now we have to find the support reactions RA, RB, RC to plot the shear force diagram. I'll indicate the directions MA, MB, then again MB here. Now take moments AB, okay, for AB span AB with BS reference point, right at the moment equation by considering all the loads or moments to the left side of support B, okay? So RA into four, six into four into two anti-clockwise minus, okay? Plus MB clockwise minus MA anti-clockwise with respect to B, okay? Now after simplifying, you'll get RA to be 11.145 kilonewton, okay? Then with respect to, uh, what is that, BC, okay, with respect to this BC, with the, for span BC with respect to B, RC into four, RC into four anti-clockwise positive, six into four into two clockwise negative, MB is anti-clockwise positive, you get RC. Then sigma F y is equal to zero, R A plus R B plus R C is equal to six into eight, that is 48, you get R B value. So R A, R B, R C values are obtained. Now go to and plot the shear force diagram, R A 11.14. Then 11.14 minus six into four will be minus 12.86. At B, you have a R B to be 27.425. So minus 12.86 plus 27.425, you'll get 14.57 plus value. So 14.57 minus six into four will be minus 9.43, okay? Which is nothing but the support reaction at C. So complete the diagram. So this is the shear force diagram for, the, for this uh, given loading conditions. Thank you.